G'day guys, here we are. Final tutorial video in the first series before we get on to the woodworking sketch up. Very exciting. I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats ready for this one. Okay, number 20 pivot bracket. This one we might have to do a little bit differently. I don't think we, it'd be a little bit complicated to do a full block and shave it away. I reckon we start off with this bottom part and then we can add this bit on top. That sounds like a pretty good idea. So, um, first of all, the footprint of this part, I guess you could say, is it's 58 millimeters that way. And it doesn't tell us how wide it is, but it does tell us the radius of this circle here. So because it's told us that radius, we know we can double that and we'll get the um, width. So 23, double that is 46, isn't it? Yeah, I hope so. I get that one right. All right, so we need to put in 46, 58. 46, 58. Enter. Zoom in. And how high do we need to pick it up? From the bottom, it's 32 millimeters. So yeah, let's just push it up 32. 32, enter. Look at that, looking good. Okay, um, might be easiest if we just get started with these, make these circle, why not? Um, let's put in this top radius, which is 23. So from that corner, 23 millimeters in. And then from that point, 23 millimeters in on the red axis. There we go. Grab the arc tool from here. We're gonna click once over here and swing it all the way around to a half circle. Okay, now I'm not gonna push everything away just yet in case I need the corners for something else. I know that this top bit needs to be 16 millimeters thick. So that means that bottom bit will be 16 millimeters thick as well. So I might need to actually move this point here straight through to the bottom so I can draw that circle on the bottom. So if I go here, down on the blue axis, and I type in 32, I should get a dot on the bottom. I do get one there, perfect. So let's enter, um, a let's put a circle in of that bottom diameter, which is 36 uh, millimeters in the diameter. So half of 36 is, I wanna say 18, is it 18? I think it's 18, 18. Yeah, that looks about right, cool. So um, we need to, basically remove everything up to halfway of that. So let's measure, because we know it's this is 16 millimeters thick. We're gonna push this up to that guide point. We might need to adjust our view to snap onto that. There we go. So we've got that bottom bit. Then we can probably get rid of these now. I reckon that's safe. And then we can put that circle all the way through, which has got a diameter of 20, which means radius of 10. Push this through to the bottom, hover over that bottom line, and we've got a hole right the way through. Great, that looks good. First part done. Okay. Now, there's a little bit less information on this one. Um, it doesn't tell us the information on these, for example, or it doesn't say anywhere around, but it does have information up here that says all welds are R5, right? So anywhere where two, pe two pieces might join up, and there's a uh, convex, yeah, no, concave, whichever one it is, um, a curve like that inside, it says all welds are five. That means that is welded together, and this bit here is welded on. So if you were making this out of metal, you would weld all around here, weld there, 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 and the radius of the weld is five, right? And then it tells us on the rounds on the corners, it says six rounds of R5. So that round there, one, the round on the back, two, three, uh, no, sorry, not, not that one, three, what is that one? Yeah, three, uh, four, five, six. Yeah, so sorry, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six rounds and they're all R5. So make it easy, all the welds, all the rounds uh, have a radius of five. So to get started, I reckon we could probably draw this block in. Let's get that in. Um, so we know that it's gotta be this sort of bit that stands up, has to be five millimeters away from the edge so we can get that radius in. So let's start drawing a line five millimeters away from the edge. And then we need to go in five millimeters and a little radius in there. A little quarter circle, that looks good. Same on the opposite side, five millimeters in, five millimeters in, and we'll draw a quarter circle with this tool here. Right, there's our lines there. Now, I believe it will be from this point here 
to this point here. We can use the line tool for this to start drawing that shape. It is, we can see in the drawing here, it's 24 millimeters across and 12 millimeters thick, right? So 24 millimeters wide, 12 millimeters thick. So I might need to get rid of that pencil line actually. Um, easiest way to do it would probably be find the center point. So in between here and here is 36. So half of 36 is 18, I think it's 18. Yeah, 18 looks about right. If you're not sure, measure from the other side. If it's exactly the same, 18. Yep, you got it. Cool. So um, let's from that center point, we have enough information to just draw that entire 24 by 12 rectangle in. And from this point, I can grab the line tool, click here, go 12 millimeters that way, 12 millimeters on the green axis, 24 millimeters this way, and then I can hold down shift, line it back up at that point, and finish it off. Right, there's my little rectangle that I need to push up 80 millimeters. So let's do that. Eight, eight zero, enter. Yeah, that might have been a bit confusing, but you know, just watch it slowly, you'll, you'll follow along. Okay, there's that shape in, fantastic. Let's get rid of that line on the back because we don't need that. Now, um, maybe we'll work bottom to top might be the best way to do it. Um, yeah, let's put these, these welds in. I'll show you how to do that. So to put the welds in, you're going to need to for pick a corner. I don't think it really matters what corner, but let's just start with this one, might be easiest. We need to measure five millimeters out this way and five millimeters up. And then we're gonna use the arc tool and we need it on the red axis, I think. Yeah, red axis. We're gonna draw a quarter circle from the base to the block that we just put in, right? We can't just, uh, we can't actually use that yet without a bottom line. So we need to draw, uh, use the line tool to draw a line from there to there. See how it's filled that in. Now, you might be able to guess what tool we'll be using next. And if you guess the follow me tool, you are correct. So we're gonna click on this shape and we're going to, we sort of need to orbit around as we do it because we need to follow that line around the back. And we can't see it if we only look from one way. See how it's putting that shape in? All right. Come on, round the back as well. You just really gotta get your mouse to follow that edge for it to work properly. Sometimes it does funny things and wants to climb up the wall and whatever, but if you just do it from there to there, like that, you should get a perfect little weld in there. All right, so I've got an R5 weld all the way around and that looks pretty good. Okay, so next, let's move up the shape. Um, we might have to work from top to bottom now because it doesn't tell us the dimensions of this gap, but it does tell us from the top how far down to go. So from the top, we know we need it, that little um, bit hanging off needs to be 12 millimeters. So from here, we'll measure 12 millimeters down. And oops. And from the back edge, from the back corner here, it's 24 millimeters to the center of that circle. And then that circle has a radius of 12 millimeters. So that'll be 36 total from the back. So if we go from here, we know it's 36 millimeters to the tip of that circle. So best way to put that in might be to just draw a line straight across there. And we can push this out to that point. Okay. We'll leave it square for now. We won't round anything. We'll get the next one in as well. I think it's probably exactly the same, just with a 24 millimeter gap in between. So let's leave a gap of 24 millimeters, draw a line across. Then grab the tape measure, measure 12 millimeters down, because it's 12 millimeters thick. Grab the pencil tool, draw a line straight across. Okay, and we'll push that one out. Remember, we can use the push-pull tool and hover over existing face. See how it says on face? and we know those two will be identical. Okay, starting to look a little bit closer. Uh, what we need to do now is maybe find the center of each of these circles so we can put that hole through, that hole through, and then put the rounds on. So let's see, we'll go from here. We need to measure 12 and 12 because that is the information it's given us. It's told us the radius is 12. Do it on the bottom two, 12 and 12. All right, then arc tool, make sure it's blue. Click, click, and swing it around to a half circle. Easy, same on the bottom. Click, click, 
swing it around to a half circle and look at that. Okay, then we need to put a circle through both of them or a hole through both of them and the diameter is 12 millimeters. So we can go here, type in six, half of 12, same on the bottom. Snap under six for me, perfect. So let's push those away now. Get rid of that, that, double click, double click, uh, double click, double click. So two holes and two half rounds there. Now, the only thing left to do is put in one, two, three half, uh, or welds, I guess you could say. This one is sort of just um, rounded over, but these three are welds. All right, oh, and we need to shave these away. I just saw them. Don't forget about those. Do those now quickly. Go on. Okay. So to put those in, uh, I'm sure there's a way where, like, you could probably do it where you use the um, move tool and copy function, where you copy the geometry across, but it won't take you that long if you just go from each thing, five and five, from here, five and five, here, five and Axis five here five, and five. Okay, then all you got to do is go with the arc tool and draw the quarter circles in like that. Get it on the red axis by pressing the right arrow key. Cool. Red axis with the right arrow key. Quarter circle there. Quarter circle there. Then are, they, are those shapes all filled in? They have perfect. So now it's just a push pull function. Move that across, move that to the back edge, double click that, double click that. And that looks pretty good. That looks like a good pivot bracket to me. I don't know if I've ever seen a better pivot bracket, if I'm honest with you. All right. So we'll delete the guides, edit, delete guides, and then we can just sort of see if we've missed anything. So I can see we've still left some pencil lines here. So we'll erase those. Check the backside as well. Yep, we got them there too. So just get rid of them. Right, check underneath, check your backside. We can't erase them because that just shows us where the end of the arc is. So we need them to stay. But other than that, that is one clean looking pivot bracket. Right, if you've done that and you've managed to keep up for 20 videos, really well done guys. Um, the next lot of videos are really, really cool. I'll show you quickly. We actually get to go on and draw all sorts of woodwork joints. And then we even get to draw this awesome clock that you'll get to make if you do woodwork in year nine. So look forward to that. All right, guys, great work. Make sure you save it. Number 20, 20, oh, what's this one called? I forgot already. Um, pivot bracket. Bracket. There we go. Save. That's done. All right. Good work, guys.